ear health is definitely on the rise and people are getting more and more concerned about not damaging their ears. There are many reasons apart from ear health that one might want to consider getting bone conduction headphones. Today we're taking a look at Nainka's take on bone conduction headphones and personally, I think it actually outperforms the competition. Welcome to a review of the Nainka Runner Pro. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Nainka Run a pro. So Nainka have graciously sent me their bone conduction headphones and although they have sent me these headphones, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying these headphones. This headphone retails for about 140 US and that translates to about 560 Malaysian Ringgit and if you use this code on Nainka's website, you get a 15% discount off your order. So definitely check out their website to buy yourself one of these. The Runner Pro is in many ways better than the competition and I'll specifically compare this to the Aftershocks X Trainer because that is the only model in the Aftershocks line that you can use it for swimming just like the Nainka. This headphones is really well built and when you pick it up it feels really premium and the majority of the headphones are made of this rubberized finish and at first look it feels like it's made of plastic material but Nainka says that these are made of military grade plastic titanium alloy silicon. Definitely a mouthful but well at least it's made of a pretty good material. The headphone is designed similar to most bone conduction headphones and has a band that runs through the back of your neck, a control module in the middle and the diaphragm at the front of it itself. So to use this headphone instead of putting it on top of your ears like traditional headphones do, you actually put it in front of your ears where your temples are. The headphones then generates vibration into the head and the jaw, bypassing the eardrums and directly into the inner ear. So that's where bone conduction headphones are good for your ears because they do not blast music directly to your eardrums. It also helps people with some form of hearing difficulty to hear music again. So on the left module itself, you see the Nainka branding there. And on the right module, you'll get the proprietary contacts to charge up your headphones and also use the same connector to connect it to your PC to transfer music directly into the 8GB storage of headphones. And yes, this headphones is not only Bluetooth, but it also comes with an MP3 function. The right side also contains all of the controls you need, such as the power button and the volume controls. And where Nainka is actually better than and Aftershocks is that the Aftershocks is purely an MP3 player, so no Bluetooth on the Aftershocks, and it has a smaller 4GB of storage, no Bluetooth, and you can't make phone calls on them. And the only thing it does let you do is load music into it for your swims. So comparing the Aftershocks to the Nainka, definitely the Nainka beats the Aftershocks. So comparing this to the Nainka is everything that the Aftershocks is, but with Bluetooth connectivity, larger internal storage, and you can use it for phone calls, and you can also bring it for swimming. So it's a no-brainer if you need to pick between the two. Although Nainka still uses a proprietary charger, it's still better than the Aftershock that uses a cradle that needs to be clipped into the headphones to charge or transfer music. Ultimately, the Nainka will give you a rated 6 hours of continuous playback time if you use it at about 65% volume. So it's not the longest, but definitely sufficient to get you through most of your workouts or commutes. The headphone takes about 2 hours to fully charge. So the Runner Pro comes with pretty decent specs and when compared to the Aftershock's X Trainer, these are super high tech. It comes with a Bluetooth 5.0 that supports only the SBC audio codec, which honestly is sufficient because for one, you're not going to put this in your ear to get the best audio quality with any bone conduction headphones. So things like Aptex are overkill and probably drive the price up. The headphones come also with an IPX8 water resistant rating, which is the highest standard in waterproofing. So you can definitely bring this headphone swimming. For most bone conduction headphones, sound leakage is usually a problem. And at higher volumes, the Nainka is no different. However, they have built in something called an 
OT leakage reduction 2.0 so there are no holes on the design of the headphones to leak audio at lower volumes. When you go above 70%, you'll definitely get quite a lot of leakage. The headphones also comes with an 8GB of internal storage when you use it as an MP3 player and you can plug it in and start dragging songs like a USB thumb drive would. The player supports music in MP3, WMA, WAV and FLAC files. From my test, there is also no support for multipoint connectivity so you can connect them to multiple devices just not at the same time. The sound quality is an obvious flaw for most bone conduction headphones but to be honest your immediate concerns are generally not audio quality when you're looking for one of these headphones. Comparing this to the Aftershocks that I've tested in the shop previously, the Runner Pro actually sounds pretty nice for bone conduction headphones. Bass is definitely non-existent and there are also not much definition in the mids and highs but audio comes through actually really nicely and comparing it to the Aftershocks, the Aftershocks actually feels a little bit flat. And if you put on the earplugs that actually comes with the Run Pro, you get a drastically improved sound quality. And most bone conduction headphones in the market do come supply with earplugs in a box. And with the earplugs, you start to hear more definition, more bass. They still sound muffled, but keep in mind, these are not going through your sensitive eardrums. So you would ask, why would you use this instead of putting on normal earbuds? The simple answer is ear health and because you're not plugging this into your ears, bone conduction headphones don't sound as good as traditional earbuds but they do protect your ears. And if you have hearing difficulty, you cannot hear out of one or both sides of your ears, this will help you hear again. I've tried this with my dad and it works wonders. So of course it doesn't give you that full definition sound like how you would with normal hearing but if you have hearing problems, you can still hear music but maybe at a softer volume. So if you use it for swimming, this would sound really good, really amazing because your ears will be filled and plugged with water so they sound super nice when using it for swimming. And one more point to note with all bone conduction headphones is that you use it at loud volumes, it actually tickles your temple because of the vibration that it generates. So if you're using it in noisy places, best to just put on the earplugs. So the call quality on these headphones is actually surprisingly good and it does say that it supports CVC technology but I don't know if it's the same one from Qualcomm. Regardless, call quality is still good in most situations. It doesn't cut off background noise all too much but your voice still gets through nice and clearly. Anyways, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these headphones. So this is the test to see if the new Color Runner Pro is a good headphone for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is turn on a simulated background noise so you can feel a difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So these are not your typical gaming headphones, so using them for YouTube and Netflix is generally nice but gaming on the other hand will see some lag. Not the most ideal headphones for competitive gaming. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these headphones. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem. So similar to most headphones, the Runner Pro gives you all of the controls you need for your media controls. To play your pause media or pick up phone calls, press once on the on off button and it'll play or pause your media accordingly. And to control the volume, simply use the volume rocker to control the headphones. Very simple. So to skip tracks forwards, press and hold the volume up button and you'll skip your tracks forward. And to skip tracks backwards, press and hold the volume down button. To call out your assistant, press and hold the power button for about one second until you hear a beep and then let go. And that will pause your media and pull out your assistant. And to swap between Bluetooth mode and MP3 mode, just double tap the power button and immediately you'll toggle between the two different modes. So that's all of the controls you get with the Nike Runner Pro. So finally, bone conduction headphones have a very specific market of people who are looking for them. And personally, I will be using this mostly for swimming and cycling. Do keep in mind that these are not headphones to buy if you're looking for the best sound quality. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash the thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.